So here's Alan Turing's proof. It's called the halting problem. Bum, bum, bum. This is important. Given a program and some input, will that program eventually stop on that input? And you, because you're in beauty and joy computing, you know that function programs as data is not a big deal. I can pass in map is something that takes a function as data. Okay? So you can see that this block would program stop on the input. I can write that. And the program would be a block I drop in. I block I drop the block in for program. And input is whatever, list, a number, a sentence, whatever it is, okay? Program would stop, would it stop on that? I claim, let's try it, okay? Assume we could write it. Remember, I'm trying to ask if it's decidable or not. So we're going to assume we could write it. I claim we can't write it. But assume we could. And let's see if, it's, if I get to some weird impossibility, okay? So I assume I can write this block. Would program stop on data? OK, that's it. I assume I can write that. And there's the block. Now, here's the cool part. I don't know how to do it, but I'm going to call a helper called something clever. Something clever is going to do all the work for me. If something clever says true, it means the program would stop on data. I return true. It would stop. If something clever determined, looks into it and says false, I return false. So something clever is really the guy doing the answer for the work for me. You get that? It's really something clever is doing all the work. If something clever says true, then I say true. If it says false, I say false, okay? I really should just report something clever, but this makes it more explicit what's happening, okay? Someone else, I assume something clever is authorable. Someone could write that. Here we go. Now, I'm gonna, on the side, I'm going to write something called stops on self. What does that mean? Well, stops on self says, would the program stop on the program? So if you somehow fed, the data of the program, and you kind of fed it into itself. You can take the program and encode it into a list. This is to say, make it into a list. And you take that encoding of the program as a list, and you feed it into itself. OK? So would the program stop on itself? That's a block. And right there, that's the answer. Would, so stops on self is going to call the would program stop on self. Does that make sense? Stops on self is true. So if it would stop on itself, I would say true. If it wouldn't, it say false. Now, here is weird. I'm going to write a program called weird. And you're like, why are you writing weird? Watch weird. Weird says has a program as input. If the program stops on itself, it runs forever. Like the code says. Look at the code. Otherwise, it doesn't stop on itself, and I return true. OK, just stay with weird. Now, here's the part that's going to, that you almost need to look at and just stare at for 10 minutes. What happens when I call weird, and the input to weird is itself? I pass in weird's code into itself with a gray border, as you see. Okay. Now, this group of the class is going to believe that weird would stop on itself. Okay. You you say yes. Weird would stop on itself. Yes. Would weird stop on weird? You're going to say yes. This group is going to say no. Weird would not stop on itself. Weird would run forever on itself. Okay. So you guys, it would stop. It wouldn't, OK? But let's look at weird. You said weird would stop on itself, right? OK, you said it would. So you agree. If weird passes into weird, that's going to stop on itself. Now, what does weird do? You tell me stops on self is true for weird, right? Stops on self weird, you're going to say true. Stops on self of weird, you say false. Remember that, OK? So here we go. Now watch what happens when weird actually gets called on weird. You told me stops on self weird is true. I just keep remembering that. So look at the code of weird. Watch what happens. If stops on self, weird, you guys said, one, two, three, true. So I, true. What does weird do? Runs forever. Wait, wait. You just told me that stops on self, weird is true. So it would stop on itself. But what, what happens? Weird on weird does what? Runs forever. So how can you both stop on self and run forever? Contradiction, impossible. This group says, stay with me, stops on itself is false. It would not stop on itself. Okay, so weird on weird should go forever. Okay, so watch. Weird on weird, what are you guys gonna do? Stops on self weird, what do you say? False. So it means weird should run forever, right? But what does weird on weird actually do? Report true. It stops. Wait, you just said it was gonna not stop on itself, it would go forever. 
but you also just returned true and did stop on yourself. Therefore, you can't both say you're going to go forever and then stop when you call weird on weird. That's impossible. You see that kind of weird thing? So it's impossible to write. So back it up. Is it possible to write weird? Yes, there it is right there. Nothing, nothing magical about that. Back it up. What's the breaking point? The breaking point is something clever can't be written. You cannot write would problem stop on itself. You cannot write, you cannot solve the halting problem. I cannot write that block ever. Dan, but it'd be so useful to have something, every piece of code, and say this code is going to stop. Because why? Why is this relevant? It's relevant because I run a program to calculate something, and I'm waiting. It hasn't returned yet. And I want to know, have I just not waited long enough, or is it never going to come back? That's a question I'd like to know. The bus is in here. How many of you have asked a question for the bus? The bus isn't there, and you don't keep waiting. Do you keep waiting for the bus, or do they stop running the buses altogether? It might be they stop running buses altogether, so you should stop waiting, because there's no more buses. But maybe you just didn't wait another second. You ever do that? You start to walk, and the bus comes. Right? Happens all the time. So you're waiting for your program. Do you hit Control-C? Do you hit Stop and turn your computer off and quit it? No, it might be just one second away from answering, but you never know. So you care about it. It'd be great to have this would program stop on itself, to know whether it eventually is going to return or not. And if it says yes, then you just wait as long as it takes, because you know it's going to finally stop. But maybe it's caught in the loop, and you don't know. So we all want would program stop itself. We want to solve the halting problem, but you know what Turing says? You can't do it. It's non-decidable. You cannot write that program. And because you can't, not all problems are decidable. And the halting problem is an example of one that's not decidable. Isn't that cool? Take some time and look at that code. But it's so cool that Snap just lets you talk about the halting problem. Almost no other CS principles course lets you do this in a powerful way. So in conclusion, complexity theory is an important part of computer science, specifically computer science theory. If you've got a hard problem, this is why it's relevant to you. If you've got a hard problem, and it's taking you a long time to find an efficient solution, well, maybe it's in this class. It's actually easier for you to prove that it's in the class of NP-complete problems to say, look, I haven't solved it, but guess what? It's NP-complete. You gave me an NP-complete problem, Mr. Summer Intern Manager. I can't solve it because no one else has solved that kind of class of problem either. Or maybe you haven't worked hard enough, OK? Also, it's often useful to see if an approximation solution will work for your thing. If you can get something that's close enough, that'll actually give you really efficient solutions, but it's not perfect, but it'll be close to that, OK? Some summarize, some are not solvable, like the maze that can't get through a wall. Some are even not decidable. That's the end of this topic. Thank you very much, folks. We'll see you at the next topic. Woo!